So continuing here our discussion of the algae with the green algae. Um, that's probably the ones that you would picture. That's what you have in your head when you think about algae. Uh, those are the most plant-like ones, if you will. Uh, they have cellular cell walls, uh, typically unicellular, like uh, chlorella, for example. They can be also multicellular. Uh, they contain the typical chlorophyll A and B, um, which makes them very plant-like. Um, they can store starch, and um, they're supposed to be the ancestors for our terrestrial plants. It will be the life cycle of a green algae. And again, we have asexual reproduction, which is simply um, dividing into by mitosis. You have two algae, and they just grow, and then they divide again and again. That's asexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction always involves the production of gametes. And so that would be here, the gamete formation down here. Then the gametes have to fuse in this fertilization event, which produces a zygote. And then by meiosis, we're producing more gametes and they can grow into adult cells and so forth. That will be the uh, sexual reproduction cycle. And on these organisms, they can switch over to from sexual reproduction to asexual reproduction. Sorry, this way it's going this way. Okay, um, taking a look at diatoms. Um, they have pectin and silica cell walls. They are either unicellular or filamentous. And the important thing about them is they store oil. Uh, so it is um, thought that the ancient diatoms, uh, they probably formed the oil um, reservoirs that we have under the ocean floor, uh, sort of this, uh, these products of ancient photosynthesis that compressed as layers and layers of diatoms uh, sank down to the ground and compressed and formed um, sort of the oil that's stored under the ocean floor. Um, they also produce di domoic acid, uh, which can cause neurological disease. Uh, here's an example of a diatom. And um, not much more I want to say about this. This happens to grow in acidic water. Now moving on to dinoflagellates. Uh, they have cellulose and plasma membranes. Uh, they're unicellular and they can produce a neurotoxin. Um, these saxid toxins, they can cause paralytic shellfish poisoning. So that's something to consider. Um, paralytic shellfish poisoning from the dinoflagellates, some dinoflagellates. Here will be a dinoflagellate example. Uh, here you can see the flagellum, therefore the name the dinoflagellate. And here, the um, last one will be the water molds, the oomycota. They have cellular cell walls. Um, and they're chemoheterotrophic though, so that means they don't photosynthesize. And they produce those spores, uh, they're typically decomposers and plant parasites. Okay, so um, here are some examples of them being plant parasites. So they're responsible for Irish potato blight. And then here's another one that infects eucalyptus trees. And then here was another one of these Omicota um, producing or causing sudden oak death. And not too interesting here, the Omicota life cycle. Again, the asexual reproduction is typically very simple, just dividing and then mitosis and growth and mitosis um, division. And then here the sexual reproduction uh, involving um, gametes and then zygotes and the whole typical thing, but no detail necessary on this here. Uh, finally, let's take a role, uh, look at the role of algae in nature. Uh, definitely they fix carbon dioxide just like plants do. So carbon fixation, producing organic molecules, carbohydrates and others. 
Um, so that is the typical role of an, any autotroph, a photosynthesis producing food, organic molecules by fixing carbon, gas, carbon dioxide into carbohydrates, for example. Um, a byproduct of photosynthesis is always oxygen, and it is thought that about 80% of Earth's oxygen in the atmosphere was produced by algae, ancient photosynthesis of algae. Sometimes you hear about algal blooms. Um, that will be an increase in planktonic algae that can result in toxin release. Um, that is, um, uh, you know, something that every now and then happens. Algal blooms. You, know, you may have uh, red tides or. Uh, some other tides that are coming along uh, when too much uh, fertilizer, for example, is poured into the ocean, and then you may have algal blooms. Um, if these um, algae cells die, they may end up consuming oxygen, actually. Um, then the role of these algae in oil production, the diatoms, and then symbionts of animals. Uh, sometimes they live in symbiosis with animals. And that concludes our discussion of the... Um, fungi and the algae and I will start a new recording for the protozoa.